London, New York, Paris, Milan, London, New York, Paris, Milan. She's got the whole world watching. She's the barometer of style. She's got every important designer. trail, sun-kissed skin, a few lovely freckles. We're using chocolate colour all the way around the eyes, underneath the eyes, and then we're using a bronzy pencil inside, we're smudging it with our fingers. Lots of mascara, lots, like caked on, top and bottom. And then we're using a caramel lipstick, and then bronzer on the cheeks, just to give you that sort of, you know, little sun-kissed look. And I trust you, trick that ever would use The makeup is like, at the same time it's natural and at the same time it's worked makeup because the eyes are like pretty intense, this heavy mascara, but all the rest is new, clean and fresh. Makeup look, it's very feminine. I love the long hair. You trust me, and I trust you. I'm the dirtiest trick that you ever would use for me. I think the whole look is great, and with the clothes, it's gonna look amazing on runway. Don't you just wanna play? 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 Gorgeous texture and very shiny, beautiful, healthy, but also it has a hippie feeling, which is no grunge, it's chic. And so this is the girl like Chloe, very prompt to this energy, very beautiful, with gorgeous, gorgeous hair. I love it with the makeup and I think it's it's very good with the outfit, you know, so I'm really happy, yeah. I love Chloe, always the makeup is beautiful and they always make girls beautiful, you know, and the hair is great. You just want to play. Baby, don't you just want to play? of Chloe is a modern woman, active woman, is a woman who works to have babies at the same time, who moving a lot, running, but still be beautiful, fresh and full of energy. I think it's very different from the last collection. They're doing a great transition because it's not totally different. You can still see the spirit of the design. At the same time, they're doing a lot of change with the materials, with the leather. The texture of the whole design is amazing. I love it. Clothes are really wearable, like like 
even young people can wear them, old people, you know, it's like for every age and they're really elegant and simple and sexy at the same time. I love this Chloe show. It was exciting to see all that mix of python, not only in a skin, but also in the idea of back to a print. But I'm loving all that python print a lot. I think it's definitely an important skin. I love a wide trouser for the spring season. I'm happy to see this idea of a really menswear inspired trouser pushing forward onto the fall runway so the customer knows that wide pant that made such a big story for spring is going to continue. So get it now because you're going to wear it right into the fall season. Wearing a very nice outfit. It's a uh, green, uh, like the snake print blouse, and then uh, a skirt with the uh, stripes with the uh, different colors. It's very cool. I also like that whole idea of the color blocking that we're seeing everywhere that continues. Favorite piece? I'm crazy about that acid green blouse. That bow blouse is a must have for the season as we go forward. dress. The fabric is, I would say, snake letter print. So it's very like sexy and chic at the same time. to see denim on the runway. You know, we haven't seen a lot of denim much at all, especially here in Paris because it's a very dressed up season. terrific collection, a lot of amazing pieces, and that Chloe girl is so ahead of the groove anyway. She wants to be like leading the fashion pack and she will be wearing this collection. It's a real girl.
in our brand. We believe in the value of our brand, uh, the iconic element, but also the culture couture. And we mix this element with our culture and with our vision for the fashion. collection because it's very very Valentino. It's exactly what Valentino would have done. It's great, it's sexy, it's chic, the day wear is fantastic. All the shirts, transparent shirts with the coats on top and it's young, it's sexy, it's fantastic. I'm very happy. When you've been watching a house over a period of time, you know, you look for things, what is new within their lexicon. Valentino has, they've established a DNA, and the DNA is always ultimately feminine. And she's pulled together, she loves luxury fabrics. Not the daytime wear because we love it, and we use the cashmere with the neat wear for make a jacket more comfortable. A coat with a stud that is an element that we believe in it. Mix a different element for make something new. Beautiful. I thought the mixing of, of materials was really a nice surprise. For example, with the lace and the leather, amazingly beautiful. And the colour scheme. I could wear all of it, strangely enough. So lovely, so polite, so polished, what we're now coming to expect from Pier Paolo and Maria Grazia here at Valentino, and I'm so happy to see that these two young designers have really found their stride with the house since Mr. Valentino has left. They used the black and horizontal bands on top of that, on top of the wool coat. They gave it to us in beautiful inky navy blue. We wanted to keep the, the spirit of the house which is very feminine, very romantic, very, very couture and very elegant, but to update it for contemporary women, which is in, in the course of the house, but edgy uh, and very contemporary. The idea of a python boot, which really updates a perfect little dress right above the knee, not too short, not too long, a universal hemline that many women can embrace and will look absolutely gorgeous in. We found that there were moments that were really brave of mixing materials and textures. The feather skirts with the, the silk rose, um, transparency tops, very, very pretty. think of that beautiful blush nude color as a signature of the house and ultimately such a flattering color for women.
actually speak to women of many ages, but there's an elegance and there's a beauty and also that touch of luxury. These are two designers who are not afraid to make clothes sensual as opposed to sexy and overt. <laughs> print in chiffon and also in leather but also we use the feather for make a, a choker with a flower we think it's an another element of the house but we use it in a different way <laughs> Acid grain for evening, but brought down to a beautiful level with just buff lace. Truly a gorgeous collection. These are the kind of clothes when you talk about Paris, these are the clothes you think about in your mind. Feminine, elegant, and perfection. All the women want to be a dream. And uh, when you see a dress that is uh, so pretty, so feminine, but also sensual because there is the lace, uh, it's uh, sexy but in, in a different way, it's more sensual. We love more the word sensual than sexy in some way, and uh, we think that uh, in this collection there is a lot. <laughs> with the direction that Valentino now is, has been running in for a while and we're happy to be in business and it's a very Bergdorf customer. We've, we've, got, we've got the ladies for this. We really believe you can go forward and very extremely too, if you do it in an elegant way. That's our job. <laughs> <laughs>